Hey, this is Jonathan from GameSpot Asia. I'm joined here by Dan Capini from GameSpot Australia. Hey, what's up? And what are you doing right now? We are actually going to check out like the ending for Borderlands 2, a really hot game that's happening right now. So in case you uh, accidentally tuned into this video, there's very huge spoilers right here. Yeah, you, if you're planning on playing through the game, this isn't probably the video to watch yeah. before so, you do that. But if you're looking for the, the details at the end of the game and a little bit of resolution, we've got some stuff for you here. Oh yeah, yeah, totally. Okay, right now, like just a bit of context for this scene. This is basically like the second last stage you had to go through before you fight the two final bosses who are Handsome Jack and the thing he will summon eventually the story. At this point in time, uh, basically uh, you killed off uh, Angel who was actually the girl who was talking to you like throughout the whole story. Like halfway through, she ends up becoming the catalyst for the warrior which Handsome Jack is trying to summon. At this point in time, after Angel was killed off, who happens to be Handsome Jack's daughter, uh, Roland and Lilith joined up with you into the whole like this special circular room where you had to fight out wards of robots. But after all that is said and done, when Angel is dead, Handsome Jack just pops up and just shoots Roland from the back. Cold. Yeah, yeah, I know. And it's like I was surprised this shit happened, like honestly. And then now Lilith was captured. She got a collar on her, and she's basically becoming a catalyst against her own will for Jack. And so right now we just have to do a bunch of side quests here and there with uh, Mordecai and Brick helping you out. Thank God like the two former Vault Hunters from the first game. So at this point in time, we're actually just blazing through, powering through everything, all the different robots that Handsome Jack is throwing at us, and trying to rescue Lilith from Handsome Jack before he summons a warrior. So uh, any questions you want to ask, Dan? Like a little bit back and forth about... I've got plenty of questions about this game. Um... So, you know, you've obviously finished the, the single campaign, uh, the single player campaign for oh, this yes, now. Oh, yes, yes, I did. Uh, over the, you know, firstly, how long did it take you? Because there was a lot of talk that, uh, you know, it's going to be 58 hours for the, you know, an advanced player who knew the content. Well, after like a five or six, seven, eight side quests, more or less, I think I can attribute it to like 27 plus hours. I think Chris Waters, who did the review, a uh, really good glowing review of the game right now, he probably took a little longer because he had more time. But for my side, I think I've only done it for like, uh, yeah, 27-ish hours. Just blasted through. Yeah, and I actually picked the wrong tree, skill tree to go through for my Assassin Zero. Um, I picked the Blood Shed one, where it's good to actually as a melee thing, but for the final two bosses, it's better just to go for like the sniper skill tree. So did you find that you, you played through with your original tree, it didn't work and you went respect? I only respect when I fought the last boss. Right. So throughout the entire game, I did die quite a bit, but at the end of the day, like the, the bloodshed skill was pretty good, but only if your assassin is more of like an up-close, personal kind of guy. The deception skill he has is pretty cool, like just sets an invisible guy up and then just goes on, attracts people and just goes from there. Just leave me! Keep going! Alright, I'm just actually checking out some loot, just a bit back and forth. <laughs> You're a plague, bandit. You and your kind have corrupted Pandora with your greed and your hatred. It comes down to me to save this world from your kind. But I'm more than happy to do it. So that's like the really long obligatory corridor that's right here to lead you to the final boss. It sets the mood. Really cool. Did you play the game by any chance in Borderlands 2 yet? I, I haven't had a chance to play through yet, so you, you're spoiling the ending for me oh, here, man. Jonathan. But that's, oh, man. Yeah, it's all the name of science. Yes, of course. All in of entertainment, entertaining each and everyone who's too lazy to actually play through the damn game. <laughs> But you enjoyed the experience overall? Oh hell yes. I, in fact, like after this video, I'm just gonna go straight for Maya, Axton, or the Gunzerker, like Salvador. I like that name, Salvador. And you, you played through the, the original Borderlands before you started too? Yes, yes. I played through the original Borderlands when it first came out. Loved it. I felt the story was a bit iffy because of the way it was structured. It was too bad. but. The expansions came out and they worked out the kinks of the story. That was really good. That was one of the major criticisms that the yeah. story didn't really flow and yeah. was a bit sketchy in places. <laughs> Do you feel like they uh, they fixed that up in the sequel? Oh, in the sequel, yes, they did. They totally fixed everything up. So even if you like, you got spoiled by the ending. It's all about the journey, not so much a destination. In the end, like getting the guns, uh, meeting up with the funny denizens, like people that you met in the first game and in the expansions, they come back. 
more or less. Because there are some who, like, you know, died like Roland did. Yeah. And just in case you're tuning in later this thing, obviously this is full of spoilers. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> so if you're planning on playing Borderlands 2, uh, you're in exactly the wrong place. Yes. But if you've already finished it and you're looking for... Uh, your perspective on the, the game, Jonathan, then yep. this is the uh, the perfect fit for you. Oh yeah, it is, it is. Alright, stuff should be happening soon. This journey is a bit too long sometimes. This Wait. is where it all ends. Once Lilith here charges the key, I'll control the warrior and wipe you bandits off my planet. When you get to hell, tell your Vault Hunter friends I said hey. <gasps> I should just say I'll mention that uh, Handsome Jack is basically the Kafka of 2012. He's a, he's a really awesome supervillain. This is the uh, the final fight in the game. Oh yeah, yeah, pretty much. The penultimate fight. Then so be the second one. last. <laughs> yeah, second last, yes. So let's talk strategy. Oh, yeah, you know, yeah. what are the, is it a case of weapon loadout? Is it, you mentioned that you went back and, and respect your skills. Are you going to want to go more defensive, more offensive? Uh, what did you find yourself using more? Uh, right now, um, I actually use more of the bloodshed skill. Oh, wait, something exciting. Alright, before we were like interrupted by a pretty cool introduction thing, um, yeah, we see Handsome Jack, he actually just throws out like a bunch of clones to come at you, which is good because like this game has like a fight for your life mode. If you're like incapacitated, if you kill a dude nearby, uh, you can actually get back out in the fight again. At this point in time, I did not figure out what my what my best strategy is at the moment. Like, my first playthrough is like I keep dying because I'm not sure how Handsome Jack fights. He has lasers coming out from his hand, he summons clones. And then whenever he's down to his red health, he'll summon like a repair surveyor to s wrap it out in the shield. I need to destroy Handsome Jack's uh, little repair robot thing. But at this point in time, like uh, basically the best thing is basically just navigate around him. Just be a little patient. That's the best thing to do for single player when you're by yourself. When you're with like a teamwork, when you're doing teamwork, it's slightly easier. But then again, Handsome Jack actually goes up in like a few levels. So he takes just more damage from that. This is the part, yeah, with the whole repair surveyor thing. Does the fight change at all, or does it uh, remain the same but scale? Actually, this is my first playthrough. Yeah, it scales in levels more or less. Uh, so your so the surveyor might be a bit tougher to shoot down. But there are no additional aspects of the fight if you play it cooperatively, for example. Yeah, uh, just more levels at this point in time. Just getting some ammo here. Okay. How important? How important were weapons? Oh, you know, very important. Did you find that uh, a particular elemental type was more useful than another? Oh, if you see a guy with a yellow health bar, just use a corrosive weapon because that eats through acid and everything. For people with a shield, just take a electricity weapon, so it actually just shocks them and depletes the shield level to really low, which actually would be useful in this fight because he has a shield and everything. And then whenever he's back to his red life, uh, red part of his health bar, just change back to a fire weapon, and it'll, his health will just go down bit by bit because of burn. Did you find that you already had the right weapon loadout to go into this fight, or did you have to Un go and mix and match, buy a few, find a few to, to take it on? It was actually more of the latter, but uh, because I've actually learned in this game that critical hits, actually, if you hit a guy in the head, it'll be easier to actually just kill him really fast. So... Good system. Uh, yeah, yeah. Just I aim mean, for the head. Yeah, yeah, headshots are good. Like, for robots, you actually have to hit the joints. Yep. Yeah. For uh, spiders, because uh, each drag. each enemy type has its own unique. Yeah, yeah, spot. but basically humans just hit them in the head and you'll, you'll be fine. Oh, and even robots, you can actually dismantle them by shooting them in the legs. So it's probably a, a fair matchup given that you're you're playing, uh, you know, the assassin who has his own uh, clone. So yeah. you can throw out for a bit and sneak up and Yeah, and, and for some strange and silly reason in this playthrough, I am not using my deception skill as much as I should. But, uh, on the plus side, if I actually have my bloodshed, sh bloodshed uh, skill tree like maxed out, I can actually deal more damage when I'm moving. So like, if you go close to a guy, you shoot and you do a close aim thing, you deal more damage from there. 
you said this was your first attempt. How yeah, many are oh, there? Oh, um, too many to count actually. <laughs> but don't worry, we're gonna skip away from the really like later on parts. Trust me, we're gonna skip on to like the better parts later on. Well, given that it's already a spoiler sort of yeah. um, format video, do you kill him on this guy? You can tell me. Uh, it's just between you and me. <laughs> No. <laughs> All right, so we can expect it to, to take the fight on again. Oh yeah, yeah. With Don't lessons worry. learned. Yep, yep. Yes, there we go. Yeah, I wonder if I actually get lucky in this bitch room. Oh, actually, I did. Yeah. Nope, not yet. He actually, uh, actually, the funny thing is, he will actually climb up the cliffs sometimes so that you won't actually get because you can't actually jump up really high to the top parts, and you need to actually shoot him from a different angle, like just below the lava, everything. Lasers? Yeah, lasers. Your eyes? Lots of lasers. No, no, more lasers coming from his hands. Yeah. See, it's really hard to tell. Like, Handsome Jack, he's got like that face with the whole faceplate thing. And I don't know whether he's actually a robot or basically like a cyborg. I'm gonna guess cyborgish. That's not cleared up? Not really cleared up. Like, even at the end, you don't know whether he's truly human or not. I mean, there's self illusions. I mean, he has a wife, and then Angel is the kid. And the kid is actually like the siren, and yeah. Oh, in case you see that little funny cut from the from the life bar, this that's because like we're just jumping to the more meteor parts. See, like later on, whenever his health is red, like halfway through, he'll summon more robots coming in. So just keep in mind, if you're playing solo, like I said before, stick to the sniper uh, skill tree for zero. And you've only taken it on with the uh, with zero so far. Uh, zero you, bloodshed. The the skill tree right now I'm using is bloodshed. But has, does that strategy change if you play as Axton or if you play as Mayor or? Uh, you know, actually, Salvador? it will change depending on who whether you can deal more criticals when you're far away or mid range, as you will find out soon. Uh, that it, huh? You're too late, bandit! I win! <laughs> the greatest alien power Pandora has ever seen. And it's my to control! Is that not a badass looking uh, final boss? Actually, I kind of like the fact that even if all this going on and Jack like still like half did everything, he still has his consistent piece of humor. Anyway, the strategy for this boss is just shoot his chest, that's it. His weak point is just in front of him, but this is a matter of like whether you can actually do more criticals from here there. Also, like you see those four plates over there? Uh, if you kill like one section off, that actually counts as the second win kill. Ah. Yeah, so if you're like down and dead, shoot that, you'll come back to the fight. That's good to know. Yeah, and also when you see those flying rack birds around, you shoot those, they're pretty easy to kill at this point in time. Yeah, you can actually get back to life pretty easily. So another second wind option? Yeah, there are quite a lot of second wind options that I found out on my second and third day through. Because <laughs> see, I just went straight for the boss, I wasn't really paying attention to what's going on around me. And yeah, that shield can be a bit of an It's Like one thing I also find out, like I kind of hate it, was like sometimes you go back in the wall, you would think that you're actually going left and right back on cover, but you actually will get stuck if you don't see where you're going most of the time. There are actually quite, I mean, there were actually some one or two game-breaking bugs in a way, like like a boss with freeze halfway. Not this boss, by the way, like another few bosses that I fought. Like, I think it was Bunker, like this huge castle thing that you had to fight later on, earlier in the game, before you find Angel. And he just froze halfway through. It was pretty funny. Like I was like, okay, he's there. Just shoot my rockets and everything. Okay, I'm gonna kill this guy and it's gonna be an easy win. But the game it did wasn't. not end. Yeah. So I had to restart the fight all over again. So we saw you were uh, your second win there using the, the chest plates. Yep, yep, yeah. Oh, and we're actually fast forwarded to the fight. This is when I was using the sniper skill tree. The fight just went on much easier. Oh, and here's something that you should. Also find out, um, if you use a shield that takes away burns, like if you're immune to burns, this fight's an easy win. Because the boss mostly deals like fire damage. So it's the equivalent can... of just stacking resistance gear? Yeah, yeah. Hey, that sounds like another game we played. Uh, what's it? Uh, Commando, was it? <laughs> There's lots of games that use resistance gear. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. 
So it's purely the, the chest area we need to target here? Oh yeah, we just shoot the chest area, you're fine. And it'll always do like a jump to the lava. And we'll come back up again, rinse, repeat, and you're... And you win the game more or less. That seems fairly simple after the... Um, the multiple playthroughs, yeah. yes. <laughs> no, and, and the handsome Jack. Yeah. Um, you know, fairly multi-tiered fight. Yeah. Also helped that I'm level 31, so I kind of grind it a bit. Yeah. So that's that whole Diablo thing. But at least has a sense of humor to it. Yeah. Which I like a lot. What do you reckon? Are people going to be able to take this on and, and do the boss at level 31? Is it, is uh, yeah, it fairly simple? Can, or should yes. they go off into the world and level a bit and then come back? Yeah, as if you're in level 31, killing a level 32 guy, you're fine. Yeah. Again, also pick the right skill too. Like the one that deals more criticals when you're like in mid-range or long-range. So yeah, that's a, it's a good thing that Gearbox released that uh, what's that that skill tree thing on the website. The so build you can, yeah, the builds, yeah. Yeah. So you know what you're going into. Yeah, no, they did that for the first game from memory as well. And you know, oh, yeah, yeah, given yeah. that it's kind of a hybrid RPG, um, you know, MMO almost with the, the skill, the three skill trees per character, it makes a lot of sense to be able to check out your build in advance. Uh, oh, here's another strategy I'm doing. Like I just go to a corner just to get ammo, and if I ha go to this vantage point. The warrior can actually hurt me. It's only the crystalis warriors that are coming through the doorway yep. that can only kill me. And those are easy to kill. Just hit your legs. So you're saying you lamed it out. You just yeah, <laughs> pretty much, yes. <laughs> you just tried to bug it. This is actually like uh, another way to kill a guy. Just stay far away. Be Just camp. Yep. Just like any FPS, if you camp, you're good to go. One in doubt, line yeah. of sight. Yes. Come on, can I shoot him in time? Yes! Yes, I did. He explodes. Did you find you got more resolution with Borderlands 2 than you did with the first game? Oh, I did, definitely. Lots of resolution. You still want to go back and, and replay as, as other characters now? Or do you feel like you've seen... Yeah, the bulk of the content and that... Um... No, 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 I think I'm going to replay it again just because I want to see how the other skill uh, trees work out for each of the other classes. So there's some re replayability there. Yeah, yeah, there is, there is. Lots of replayability. And we do know that there's a new class coming up, the Macromancer. And the team, if they did like expansions for the first game, they're going to do it for the second one. They're not going to sit down and, you know, shake their legs for this, for this game to be successful. No. You need to actually like build it up. That's how you make a pretty good franchise. You yeah, and they've, shit. yeah, and they've said that they want to do more story-based DLC mm -hmm. as well. So, you know, whether I'll expand from from here on in, uh, you'll only have to wait a little while to, to find out. Yeah, and this is actually where you spend most of your time after you kill a boss. You see the weapons you want, throw away, because you got a lim pretty small inventory space. You only get more as soon as you get to a high level. Oh, and also if you kill the final boss, you actually go to a, another mode called Real Vault Hunter mode where it's basically the enemies are scaled up to you, they'll be like level 30 plus like that, and you get better loot. Like uh, Diablo's Nightmare Mode, or Hell Mode. So you just restart the, the story again with this hard difficulty, so New Game Plus style. Yeah, New Game Plus, you're in the same level, you have the same weapons, and you are good. Now, I just need to press a button after I'm done loot hoarding, because the game's pretty famous for that. He killed the guy and he's still shooting him. Yeah, yeah, I like that. I'm I, I'm just I'm just sick that way, man. I mean, <laughs> need help. Yes, I do. But you know, this is a game based on loot, so if you don't pick everything up, yeah, there's something wrong trouble. with you. Yeah, you're playing the game wrong. Oh, okay. That happens a lot. <laughs> you get more loot. Yes, After the corpse much. explodes. Yeah, yeah. So what's happening now? Oh, the handsome Jack has his speech. So. No, 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 I can't. I like this. Not when I'm so close. And not at the hands. You feel me, Brandon? See, I could have saved this planet. See, I, I could have actually restored order. He's off monologuing in your... Yes, I'm yeah. actually checking my items. And you're looting gear. <laughs> hey, I got a really short attention span. It's a disease. Come on, show a little respect. Yeah, I know. I mean, he's already at a deathbed. Yeah. Uh, I'm, hor I'm a horrible, horrible assassin. <laughs> you are history's greatest monster, Jonathan. Yes, I am. Oh, 
child-killing psychopath! You're a savage! You're a maniac! You are a bandit! And I am the goddamn hero! The warrior was practically a god! How? How in the hell have you killed my warrior? Jack, or I'll kill him for you. What's it gonna be? Maybe I'll use you to blow a midget's head off. That or was for Roland, asshole. Achievements be trouble. Yeah, yeah. It's over. It's finally over. Good going, Vault Hunter. You are a badass. Now. Gotta get rid of that key. Yeah, in case you couldn't tell, yeah, she has some hard on for Roland. So. Wait a sec, let me. You don't want to touch this thing right now, trust me. Slow down, man. I nearly bought it back there. Hey, Lilith! Where the hell were you guys five minutes ago? If it weren't for the Vault Hunter, we'd all be dead. I think that's her way of saying we won. Hey. <sighs> Figured that. If I never see this key again, it'll be too soon. It's been fun, you alien piece of shit. Huh? What the? F Are those vaults? <laughs> you know what that means. Yeah. <laughs> No rest for the wicked. Yeah, reference to the song they did for the first game. <laughs> so, what do you think? Well, you, you've spoiled the ending for me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that, man. I need like a sacrificial lamp for these sort of things. No, that's okay. It's 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 for science. Yeah, yeah so I'm willing to, to take one for the team. For, All right, awesome. For this. It's okay. We, we let's see. You know, like I'm thinking, like we're doing this now, ending thing as like a, you know, as a. Something that we can do in the future, more or less, so you can probably do one on me in the future. Yeah. Well, fine. <laughs> what do you really love? Because I'm going to ruin that for you. Uh, okay, um, can I say not Final Fantasy? Anything Final Fantasy. Oh, damn it. I'm going to keep knocking at your... <laughs> oh, by the way, you should check out the pictures. It actually shows off like, a lot of resolution stuff. I kind of like the style of how they do this. Like, credits, concept art, showing off more aftermath stuff. So, more vaults. Yeah, pretty much. More, more vaults. And we're gonna see a part three, that's for sure. Does does that uh, does that suggest sequel, Jonathan? Oh, uh, I, I don't think so. They need to stop the franchise right now, man. They really? need to stop you, it. You think this is the end? Oh uh, hell no! <laughs> so they're gonna keep going on. This is a take. This is a two K games thing, so you're gonna see more of this in the future. But it sounds like you enjoyed it enough that you'd play the sequel anyway. Actually, yes, <laughs> yes, I do. Oh, and I'm kind of a fan of the first one. All that. Oh, and that's Tiny Tina, in case anyone did not see that. She's like one of the funny characters in the show. Voiced by uh, Ashley Birch, uh, sister of Ash, uh, what's that, um, Andy, Andy Birch, who wrote the yep. story of the game and everything. Yeah, good job, actually. Good story, everything. Yeah, they made, they made a lot of talk about the fact that um, you know, story was a big part of what they were yeah. shooting for with this. Did they actually deliver on... On that, do you think? Oh, Is yeah, the dialogue snappy enough? Oh, it's... snappy, makes sense, it brings context to why you want to actually shoot guns and everything. Gives you, gives a lot of meaning, you know? I kind of like that. Do you need a lot of context to, to shoot guns? Uh, no, well, sometimes for Modern Warfare 3 and all that, not so much, but this, this fits just right. Oh, how cute, he gets a new Bloodwing. Shall I spoil that bit for you? <laughs> So, this is the end of the game. So, okay. so yeah. frankly, if, yeah. if you don't mind finding out how handsome Jack dies, uh, yeah, yeah. then oh. it's probably not too much of it. <laughs> well, uh, oh yeah, we actually game. fight it as a boss, so it's kind of heartbreaking to kill a pet as a villain of sorts. Or is that the original Bloodwing? Uh, no, no, that that is a new Bloodwing from oh, the ending. Yeah. There you go. Yeah.
I think that's all the clips that we've seen. It's actually gonna rotate more or less the picture. See, there you go. It actually rotates. Yeah. So uh, yeah, that's about it. Like anything, anything closing you want to put in before we end this? Uh, I, I think we're pretty good with the, the spoiler warnings. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Frankly, if you've made it this far, yeah, yeah. Not yeah. I think you like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're ruining the rest of the the ending of the game for you. Then. So in case you did not see the first warning, yeah, spoiler alert. <laughs> yeah. But hopefully you've enjoyed this. Oh, um, yes I have. This is the game you need to get. Um, we gave it a good review. Um, it's a good with friends, definitely, because single player... I mean, in the end, I kind of like single player, but I'll lo I mean, I played it online with a few friends who had the debug kit as well. And yeah, I had more fun, actually. Great. Well, hopefully we'll bring you more of these spoilerific end of video game video yes. series. Hopefully not Final Fantasy stuff, because well, that would be bad for we're me. We're doing a Final Fantasy one. Damn it. I've already decided. <laughs> you, you dropped yourself in there. Oh, yes, you could have said did. anything, and you picked the stuff you actually didn't want me to oh, spoil. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah. I just, I just dug a grave, yes. Okay. Anyway, uh, thanks again. Just check out more videos at GameSpot.com, and uh, see you next time.